okay, here's the deal. I'm being real with y'all. I don't have a bunch of money, obviously. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I feel like I live a, a regular life, but I know I said I was not going to do any more repurchasing, but when I logged off with my last video with you guys, I went on Instagram and Closet Full of Wax is doing a pre-order and I have to pick up some of this stuff. It's favorites and it keeps selling out. So first thing is the shusher. So this is a shop with me, I guess I should say. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I fell in love with the shusher and I do plan to use so just being candid. I obviously could or could not, but I'm choosing to. So this is a sizzle shop with me <laughs> for wax. And this is sweet lavender, birthday cake, marshmallow, and pink chiffon. You guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh. So as you can see up here in my cart total, I have 32 wax items, which I think total $150. Yeah, I can't, I can't even do that on sizzle. Like that's just too much. So <laughs> I'm going to have to narrow it down, but I'm just showing you guys what I have in my cart so far. I have Let's Split Up Gang, which is Marshmallow Fireside, Sandalwood, Lord of Misrule. Okay, now that I'm going over these scents again, I think this one is safe to take out. I do like Lord of Misrule, but I have so many good ones that this one is just not a definite yes. Oh, you see this? You see this pop up? Super helpful. It says Mix Cart. Your, sharp, your shopping cart contains at least one pre-order product. Pre-order products will be shipped in four to ten weeks, which means that your whole order will probably be shipped in four to 10 weeks. Now, here's the good thing about that. I think there is a, I don't know, a precedent set and not even just the wax world, but in a lot of shopping areas for pre-orders that people think that everyone knows this, this language. And so those little things like that, those little bits of information are really helpful for someone who doesn't know um you know even what a pre-order is at least you're aware that you're gonna get your items in four to ten weeks possibly so this one's very fall i did want to try it back in fall it sold out and unfortunately i'm probably gonna have to let it go again um so yeah we're gonna get rid of that one we're gonna get rid of elmer fudd dang so i shopped by deducing items <laughs> and somebody in my comments said they did that too so i i was like okay at least i'm not crazy so this is blueberry pie marshmallow fluff and vanilla cream you guys i had her blueberry pie by itself and i did not love it but this combination though and then like this reference <laughs> i don't know that one's still maybe oops let me go to the next one over the next one was rut row which is a scooby-doo reference zucchini bread creamy marshmallow blackberry jam oh my gosh oh i don't know that one's a maybe too deeper creeper is butterscotch whipped cream and sugar shortbread i'm a huge shortbread fan so far i'm not finding any to eliminate so this is espresso french vanilla candy cane cupcake that sounds amazing um but i'm actually gonna i i'm starting to realize i'm really picky about my coffee scents so i'm gonna let that one go Okay, so that's removed. We have tea and cakes, fireside, fire roasted marshmallow, and graham crackers. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure about tea and cakes, really, as a note. I have one item that is tea and cakes, and right now I'm not loving it. So I don't know if it's the combination of things. It's not even from this vendor, but I'm going to let that go. Banana hammock is beach cabana, banana cream, and salty sea air. I love salty sea air, and I do want more banana scents in my life, so that's going to stay up there. Scooby-Doo sold out last time, but I really liked it. It's zucchini bread, cola, vanilla bean, marshmallow. So that's a definite. That's not even a question. Pink sugar, pink chiffon, warm vanilla sugar. Hmm. This sounds amazing. It's called Jinkies. I love pink sugar. Like all these notes I like, so that might stay. This is lavender shortbread cookies. I'm just hoping some for some reason it smells like lemon lavender shortbread. I'm, I'm You know, one can only dream. So that's a maybe. All Mallow's Eve, honestly, guys, this sounds like it's going to be the toasted marshmallow to end all toasted marshmallow. It's campfire marshmallow, fire roasted marshmallow, and toasted marshmallow. There's there's no question. I'm getting that one. Felix the Cat, fire roasted marshmallow, toasted marshmallow, and sh cinnamon sugar donut. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that um, in comparison to the one right before that. You know, don't need both. That um, I purchased a Disney shirt from well, so I found this Disney shirt on Etsy. Let's just put it this way. Because this I'm just trying to tell you of the woes of 
some people not telling you things that they think you know because for some reason they assume that you order a lot and this is not again just for the wax world it's for other small communities as well brown sugar sugar cookie buttercream icing hmm interested in the brown sugar note so i might leave that grandpa joe is vanilla bean noel butterscotch sandalwood suede and coffee house i'm actually gonna get rid of grandpa joe <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I was ordering this shirt on Etsy. I noticed it was out of stock. So I messaged the seller and I'm like, hey, um, do you have, is there any chance of, you know, this coming back into stock considering the listing was still up? She goes, oh yeah, um, I'll, I'll try to remember to let you know when that, when I do get another shipment, I guess. I, I don't remember the word, wording exactly. And I'm like, okay. So I'm minding my business. About a month later, she messaged me and she's like, hey, the pre-order is open on Instagram. So I'm like, what in the world is she? What, what, I'm sorry, what is she talking about? So this is milk and cookies, vanilla milkshake, frosted animal cookies, and marshmallow frosting. That sounds amazing. And I like her milkshake. Um, closet full of waxes milkshake. So I'm going to leave that up. Cookie factory is cookie kitchen, sugar cookie dough, and stuffed sugar cookies. I'm actually going to let that one go. Cause what in the world is a stuffed sugar cookie? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it's not bad. It's just like, what is it? Um, but yeah, she goes, yeah, the pre-order is open on Instagram. And again, here we have a vendor that is assuming that you are like completely in the world of what they're talking about, that you know that you're not, you didn't just do a random search and find them, that you're aware of all these rules and ordering information and this and the third and also that you're just across platforms which is a really big problem um that i think that a lot of small vendors have and i'm, I'm speaking from a consumer point of view because i don't own a business but this across platforms thing is kind of kind of crazy like so this lady i found on etsy by doing a search um she assumed that i then followed her on instagram which i did not so when I went to her Instagram page, it like had an open question field that was like, what size can I get you? And I was like, that's weird. So where do I pay? This is Blitz Butterscotch Cookies, Bourbon Butterscotch, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Homemade Cookies. That sounds amazing. Backwoods Barbie is Pink Petal Tea Cakes, Vanilla Woods, and Palo Santo. I'm going to get rid of this because Pink Petal Tea Cakes, you guys know, me and her have had some issues lately, but... So I fill in, it's an, one of those open-ended Instagram bubbles and I fill it in and I put my size and then she's like, what color do you want? And I said, the color from the Etsy listing. And she's like, well, what is the name of it? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, how would I know the colors if you didn't list it in your Etsy listing? Does that make sense? So the Etsy listing said purple shirt or like teal shirt or aqua shirt. The the colors wheel she gave me had like 80 purples on it and she was like can you pick one and I'm like no ma'am I want the exact color from the picture like now it's getting a little difficult and now I'm getting turned off like th by the whole experience you know as a consumer this is scrappy do cola buttercream sugar cookies and whipped cream this sounds very I mean no uh, it has the cola though so I might get rid of this just and keep scooby-doo because scooby-doo also had cola um uh, yeah I'm gonna do that Plus, I'm not a huge buttercream fan. So we're going to do that. So then we're going back and forth. And she's like, when we finally, when I finally screenshot her a picture of her own listing. And I'm like, I want this color in this picture. She's like, oh, that's such and such color. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. But how was I supposed to know that? If it wasn't even in your listing in the first place, what the color in the picture was. Does that make sense? So another another way to have solved that issue especially if she needs us to give her an exact name um would be to type the name color in that picture in the corner you know this item is pictured in the item in the picture is color such and such it's that simple this is minions banana cream sugar cookies and banana nut bread pudding really really want some heavy banana so i'm gonna leave that one Okay, I'm opening the last of them, but I can kind of, okay, let me tell you though. To finish my story, I could kind of tell that she was thrown off by the experience, just by the way she was typing, and I was as well, so it wasn't necessarily an attitude, but I mean, I think we were both thrown off by the miscommunication. 
Um, but the miscommunication was purely based off of the fact that she was assuming I was at a knowledge point that shouldn't have been assumed, right? So, and a lot of these small companies have their usual, I guess, purchasers or purchasers that are within a smaller community that are aware of these things. But like how many sales could you possibly miss assuming that someone knows what you're talking about? So I go in, we have this like back, back and forth conversation about this t-shirt, which I'm sure she's not used to having with her typical customers. So now I think she might be thinking I'm difficult. Even if she's not thinking I'm difficult, it was a difficult situation. Um, and I put in my, you know, we got it cleared up that I wanted such and such size, such and such, such color, such and such um, type of t-shirt. And then she just said, okay, thanks. She never said when I was supposed to pay her, if it was going to be through the Etsy listing, what the wait time was. And I did go back to her page to see if it was her Instagram page to see if it was pinned to the top, because I know some people do that. Um, so now I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting for somebody to message me randomly one day and be like, you owe me 25 bucks for this t-shirt. Where do I send it? And so anyways, this has nothing to do with closet full of wax, but the fact that there, that even popped up is really great because you will have vendors go on like large rants on their, um, several profile, like several, you know, social media accounts saying that people need to know, people need to know. And yes, it is listed there, but unfortunately, just as us YouTubers and content creators have to continuously repeat ourselves, <laughs> I think it's just necessary because you always have new people coming on. Um, and that's why I get the same questions in my comments so often, and I don't mind answering them because why would I assume somebody went all the way back and watch every single video. I have so many videos uploaded. I think that's a strange assumption. And it's just, it's just a part of life when you are in certain fields, if that makes sense. So I'm really thankful for Closet Full of Wax for doing that. So that was a long rant just to say that um, I love when people do things like put, you know, their poor dates or tell you when the turnaround time is or tell you it's a pre-order and this is what pre-order means or tell you how long you should cure their specific wax because otherwise I'm impatient I'm assuming the two weeks but this is in pure imagination and pure imagination is butterscotch twinkies sweet milk cream hmm I like sweet milk cream so might leave that one up this is sweet fluff cookies and that is animal cracker sugar cookie frosting and fluffy marshmallow hmm I think I'm actually gonna take that one down um oh I skipped over a couple I'm going to take that off. This is banana moon pie cookies, banana cream, animal crackers, sugar cookie dough. You guys, this might be a whole haul full of banana stuff, honestly. <laughs> this is blue royale. It's sugar cookie royale, blueberries, and whipped cream frosting. I love sugar cookie, but I don't, the fruits, you guys know, I'm not a fruits fan, so I'm actually going to take that out. This is golden nuggets. It's sugared lemon, vanilla ice cream, and marshmallow fluff. Mmm, sugared lemon, vanilla ice cream, marshmallow. I don't know. I think I might take that out. Even though I do like a good lemon scent, I am so picky about lemon that sometimes I just rather not even bother some, you know, gambling anymore. So I think I'm just gonna try to look for lemons in person. <laughs> um, I would like to point out as well, on the left-hand side, you will see that there's a banner across each item that is a pre-order item. And if you come down here, there's a banner across something that is a ready to ship. And the pop-up is just saying that the ready to ship item is already made. And you could receive it faster if you place two separate orders, one being for your pre-order items only, um, and one being for your ready to ship items. But the pre-order items are not yet made and therefore you will be waiting if you put it all in one cart. Which is not, it's not an unreasonable thing for the vendor to tell you that so that you know that they're not shipping you something separately, which is a crazy ask. I mean, it's not crazy if you're not willing to pay the difference. So then again, you might as well just, you know, buy the two separate um, carts, check out separately. Does that make sense? So this is that, you know, Carol Baskin. Pink sugar, dragon's blood, and smoked vanilla. I love smoked vanilla. I love pink sugar. I have no idea what dragon's blood is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. In addition to that, 
um i try to bleep out words on youtube so that'll just make my life easier <laughs> that i don't have to even you know skirt around that word this is s'mores by the beach it's actually just her um what is it toast uh oh my gosh i just forgot it bath and body works type for fro the beach oh marshmallow oh my gosh the words escape me but you guys know what this is toasted marshmallow salty sierra and graham crackers hers is really good and i think it's the marsh the salty sierra so i'm gonna keep that in there because it's even though it is a ready to ship item i think i'm just gonna go ahead and add one to cart because i did already go through a full snap bar of it and the snap bars look like this they're actually kind of thin um i can show you one real quick so this is a snap bar this was from the Shits creek collection it's some of them I think are in this pre-order, but yeah, so they're pretty thin. So I already went through one of those of S'mores by the Beach. So I will not be purchasing another S'mores by the Beach. I mean, oh, I might be purchasing another S'mores by the Beach. Sorry. Cloud Juice is pink marshmallow champagne, marshmallow clouds, and clean air. I don't really remember what marshmallow cloud smells like. So I'm going to take that out. okay meat grinder is strawberry pound cake salted pretzels and vanilla bean buttercream i love salted pretzels guys so i'm gonna leave that even though i'm not a huge strawberry pound cake fan and here we are back to the beginning so where's our cart now i feel like we didn't talk about spin cycle did i skip that over that so the point of this is here let me open spin cycle so you guys can see the notes Spin Cycle is something I literally just talked about that I wanted to get more of. And here it is available as a ready to ship item. It's Vanilla Bean Noel, Salty Seed Air, and Downy. Oh, and there's only six left. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, that makes my life harder. Okay, so now I really gotta decide. So my total is now, let me refresh because this is a different page. After I took out so many, oh, it went back to the home page. My total is now 116 which would make my every other payment with Sezzle 2910. That's still too high for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start blindly removing. This is tough guys. There's so much good stuff to choose from. Okay, milk and cookies. I, vanilla milkshake though, I really like my vanilla milkshake. Actually, I'm gonna just bite the bullet and eat the extra costs and finish at $14.55 today as a first sizzle payment and that's gonna be it all right guys that was tough and I definitely did go over budget as you can see I tried to get it down to $10 payments couldn't do that I just really couldn't get it any lower <laughs> okay have a good day